Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about how you, and I'm talking about you, can make a thousand dollars a day and how to reprogram your brain to make it happen. I'm Dr. Dan, I'm a neurostrategist. I'm passionate about this brain because I wanna bring you real practical results based on evidence that works every time. And this specific message revolves around making more money. So you're out there, chances are, you may not even think that $1,000 a day is possible. How is that even possible? Which brings me to my very first point. I remember being early on in business. I had just started my third year of business and I was taking home around $20,000 a month. And I thought I was a big shot, you know, we were working hard, but I had no reference point for how much money that was or was not in my world, the way I grew up, that was a ton of money. And then what happened is I went and visited somebody that was doing three times what I was doing. And my mind was immediately blown. And two things happened. Number one is I thought to myself, wow, that is doable. It gave me a perspective that said, I have a new number that I could shoot for. The other thing that allowed me to recognize is this individual was no different than me and that I could do it. And it reminds me of one of my most favorite clips from Saturday Night Live when Christopher Walken comes on the scene and not only says, I need more cowbell, but he says, well, take a look. Easy guys, I put my pants on. Just like the rest of you, one leg at a time. I just love that clip and it takes me right back the first time I saw it. I'll tell you this, there's something important in that clip and that is the brain is wired to be able to create synapses, which is these new patterns within your brain that allow you to adopt an entire new strategy based on what you saw. And so in this case, if you put yourself around somebody who's doing two times or three times what you're currently doing, it immediately helps you build synapses and wire your brain to better accomplish that because you see yourself being able to do it and truthfully you see that it's not that hard you are capable and this person or these people or this business is really no different than you are and it helps you to see that i've got everything inside i just need to start thinking and acting bigger the next thing you need to rewire your brain is to understand that money is spiritual i said again money is spiritual you say dr dan what do you mean by that well i've got a penny here i've got a five dollar bill here if i ask you the question which one is more valuable what would you say if you said the five dollar bill you would be wrong because in terms of value this copper penny has more value than this piece of paper unless you have faith that somebody else believes that this five dollars would be valuable and that ladies and gentlemen is how the entire system operates we have determined through faith and belief that this is more valuable than this. And so why is that important to actually create more of this? We understand that it's spiritual. It's having faith in that. And so if somebody has faith in this being valuable, they would then exchange this for something else they would have faith in being valuable. You get the point? When you create value for somebody else and they're able to part with this because you have something they want or need, that's when you start to make money. And this is really baffled my mind. And I can't tell you that I got this the first time somebody told me this. And you may have to re-listen to this again to kind of really conceive this and reconcile. But it's so true. Money has value because we have faith that money has value. Another example that I've given before is if you're on a stranded island and you had a million dollars in cash, what good would that do for you? So money is only good if there's two people that have faith in it and believe in it can exchange for it. Why does this matter? Because that brings me to the third major point. In order to rewire your brain is you got to go find what somebody else would have a problem with that they would deem valuable that you could solve. If you solve problems for people, they will pay you for it. This is a difference that millionaires and billionaires do that's different than you is they solve problems for people. They build companies that solve problems for people. The bigger the problem, the more they'll spend. The bigger the problem, the more value they have in getting it solved. And so that's a key ingredient to making a thousand dollars a day or more is that you have to figure out what do people want solved and how can you go solve it? Like me, for instance, right now, if you came to me and told me how you can make all the clover for my lawn go away, that would be valuable to me. If you could come and tell me how you can train my puppy and 
not have it jump on people and bark at everything out the window, that would be valuable to me. If you could teach me how to play guitar a little bit better, that would be valuable. There's so many things, right? And I say this because we all have, have unique wants, desires, and needs, and problems that we need solved. And so what problem out there do people have that you can solve that either through your unique experiences, expertise, or training, you can go solve because when you can do that, they'll pay you for it. The fourth thing, and this is what I teach business owners all the time, is you gotta figure out how you uniquely solve the problem. What is your unique fingerprint in solving the problem? In today's marketplace, what you're dealing with, we're all dealing with the most informed, skeptical, cautious buyer of all time, we gotta have something that sticks out. The brain is wired for that which is contrast, meaning it's new or it's novel. What makes your solution new or novel? Because when you figure that out, now you go to the marketplace and they're wired to pay attention to it because it's different than what they had seen before. This becomes a pivotal aspect for you to be able to grow at a pace to earn over $1,000 a day. You have to separate yourself. You've gotta get eyeballs and today's age to get eyeballs, you gotta have something that's worthy of attention. In my world, it's called cortisol. When you can influence the brain with something unique, cortisol increases so it gets their attention. And when you get their attention, you get that little stress, that spike from the amygdala into the bloodstream and now that now you got them. And when you combine that with oxytocin, now they're gonna trust you. So what you wanna do is figure out how you are uniquely equipped to solve the problem. Maybe it's a name, maybe it's an experience, maybe it's a technique. One thing is people will pay for speed. The need for speed. Uber simply saved people time. It was convenience and time. They didn't do anything different in the marketplace. There was taxis that were doing that. They just did it more efficient and they did it more effective. So maybe you have a solution that other people have, but you do it differently and you do it faster. People will pay for speed. You know how much money I will spend to save me time because there's certain things that I don't wanna do because I wanna focus on what my unique gift and calling is and ability to have purpose in this world. So think about how you're uniquely designed, equipped, and capable of solving problems. And then number five here, and this could be arguably the most important one and something I should write a book about, which I did. <laughs> Uh, and that is being able to take your story, your method of communicating, your method of persuading and influencing and selling this thing that you've created, the solution that you have, this problem that you can solve for people to be able to communicate it. And I love facts. I've always loved facts. I love proof. I love evidence. I love science. I love research. I love the brain. You can tell that about me. What I then learned from loving the brain so much is to figure out how it's wired and it is wired for story. And so that's why I wrote this book right here, The Trust Formula, right? How to create influence and income for entrepreneurs who hate selling. The bottom line is you gotta get your message out there in order for it to affect millions and for you to make millions and start with $1,000 a day, in order to do that, you gotta make people move. I say this, if you're gonna move mountains in your business and in your finances, you gotta move people. And so there's one hormone, one hormone, that if you can influence it, you will actually get people to know, like, and trust you. And when they know, like, and trust you, they'll follow you, when they follow you, they'll pay you, when they pay you, they'll tell others, and that's how you make your $1,000 a day. There you have it, I'm gonna take my $5 and one penny, I guess, because that's what I know people have faith in and go try to find something to buy. And hey, if you like content like this and want a little bit more of it, uh, it always helps our algorithm and formula to get it to you by clicking the subscribe or the like. If you have a comment, let me know. Dr. Dan, out.